Mother Knows Best. This presentation is about the importance of essential nutrients, connecting with Mother Nature, listening to our body, and of course, to our mother. My mother, Helen, looks and feels better in her early 70s than she did in her mid-50s. Back then, her body was starting to show signs of change, and she was a bit concerned. So she went to her family doctor, her GP, and told, her, told him what was going on. And he said, you know, Helen, this is just part of the natural aging process, and there's nothing you can do about it. So she left kind of confused and unsure what to do next. But she knew this didn't make sense, and she thought, I'm too young to be feeling this way. Months later, she was watching TV, and she heard a really great interview by an international authority on health and longevity. He was an expert and travels on a regular basis sharing this important message. And she listened, and it really hit a chord for her. It actually connected back to a life experience she had years ago, just after she birthed her third child which is my youngest sister. Back then, she had developed really severe allergies. And with three children under the age of five, you can imagine how challenging and difficult that was. She couldn't breathe, and that led to um, you know, poor cognition, uh, lack of sleep, all sorts of things. So she would go to the pharmacy and got some over-the-counter allergy medications and nasal sprays, but they didn't work. Thankfully, my mother's been always somewhat avant-garde and ahead of her time. She had been going to a chiropractor, and she decided to tell him about it. He said, you know, Helen, this is, um, this is natural you're feeling this way and you're going through this because your body is deplete in essential nutrients, specifically minerals. You've just birthed three children and you're nursing them. Of course, your body needs to be replenished. So he put her on a program and within just a few days, she noticed a change. And within a week, the allergies were gone. So needless to say, when she heard this Dr. Joel Wallach, who's an expert and authority in health and longevity, and speaks about the importance of essential nutrients to live a long and healthy life, she knew he was right. So fast forward a number of years, she's been taking the product for almost two decades, and looks and feels better now than she did back then. So what are these early warning signs that she started to experience? What do they look like? How do they feel? Well, there's a list of common ones, not limited to this list, but I'm going to go through a few just so you can get the idea and see if you can relate or anyone you know might be struggling with these. Gray hair, age spots, creaky joints or sore joints, Low energy, cracked cuticles, receding gums, a depressed or low attitude, weight gain, and cravings. These are really prominent issues for many of us in North American society. And people are getting these warning signs at a younger and younger age. And this is your body telling you something needs to be done. In fact, obesity is on the rise in North America, and it's becoming a huge concern. They even have a name for it. It's called the dinosaur syndrome, where people are getting bigger physically, gaining weight, and their brain matter and cognition is actually shrinking. Now, this is something to be concerned about because it doesn't just affect our physical health. This affects our mental health and our emotional health too. So it's really important we stock up and fuel up on essential nutrients. And most people do their best to get this through regular everyday food. Well, eating healthy, making good food choices from your grocery list to what you put on your table for you and your family is really, really important. But it doesn't stop there. You see, a lot of the fruits and vegetables that are brought to our table do not carry nearly the amount of essential nutrients that our body needs to function. In fact, there's a Senate document that came out in the 1930s that lets us know the soils are deplete and they do not have the nutrition required to properly nourish a human body. On another note, minerals do not grow on a 
as a complete blanket across the crust of the earth. So you may or may not be tapping into a vein of mineral rich soil where, depending on where it is that your garden is located. And finally, did you know that to grow a carrot, radish, beet, celery, cucumber, tomato, that only requires three nutrients, nitrogen, phosphate, and potassium, NPK. Well, our human body requires a lot more than that to repair and to thrive. So when it comes down to it, nutritional deficiency equals many things, but in particular, it represents deterioration, premature aging, and if we don't listen to these early warning signs, disease. My sister Angie, the youngest that we were speaking about earlier, my mom's allergies, is an example of someone who at a young age was nutritionally deficient. First of all, she was the third child of three, so she got less nutrients than my sister and I, my other sister and I did. But on top of it, she was an avid athlete, a rock star on the track and field uh, domain. And she was sweating out a lot of her healthy nutrients. Now everyone thinks it's so great to sweat. Well, it is great to detox through sweating. But simultaneously, we also lose all these healthy nutrients at the same time, and they need to be replenished. So her body was becoming depleted and breaking down. And by the age of 13, she had numerous issues, and it was actually infringing upon her being able to participate in sports and be comfortably mobile. She went to the family doctor, and what did he say? There's nothing we can do for you, Angie, but you know what? Years down the road, um, when you're an adult, you can be on the wait list for hip replacement. Wow. You know, telling that to a young child who athletics is their life, it's their, uh, their most favorite passion, is really difficult. Had she known back then that her body was deplete, she could have given it the essential nutrients to heal and continue on with her sports. We all need essential nutrients, and we need them from conception as we grow and develop in the womb, right through childhood, adolescence, adulthood, as aging seniors, right up into our deathbed. And the reason for this is essential nutrients are the fuel for life. It's just like breathing. It's just like hydration. These things we need on a daily basis. According to Chief Seattle, we are part of the earth and it is part of us for all things are connected. Did you know that at the end of life, when a body is cremated, the only thing left over are in the ashes are minerals? This just signifies how life begins with the catalytic functions of minerals and it ends with the minerals being present again. We need to nourish our roots. The roots are at the base of everything. Now think of a tree, a big tall oak tree. You can't see the root system beneath the ground, but it's there. And it is what nourishes and feeds the entire trunk and the branches, and ultimately the leaves and fruits that grow. Well, just as a tree needs to have, be properly fed from the earth, so do we. How do we do that? We do that using the 90 essential nutrients. So I'd like to tell you what the list of these essential nutrients are. They consist of the big heavy hitters, 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and two essential fatty acids. And this is the currency of life. In fact, here's a quote by Nobel Prize nominee, Dr. Joel Wallach himself. Nothing in a living system works without one or more mineral cofactors. Everyone who dies of natural causes really dies of a nutritional deficiency. Here are some examples of common minerals that you would know about and when they're deficient, what, those, what problems that would lead to. First example, selenium. When a person's body is deplete in selenium or lacking in selenium, they are predisposed to asthma, cardiovascular disease, dementia, eczema, infertility, PMS, multiple sclerosis, and immacular generation. 
When someone's lacking in calcium, they're automatically predisposed to arthritis, high and low blood pressure, insomnia, kidney stones, and receding gums. A lack in chromium and vanadium means a person could be susceptible to ADD, ADHD, autism, depression, diabetes, hypoglycemia, night sweats, and obesity. Those are just a few examples. For every mineral and nutrient deficiency, there are correlating health issues involved. And the person behind the scenes who discovered this through thousands of autopsies on both animals and humans, he had first become a veterinarian, then a primary care physician, and then a naturopath, is Dr. Joel Wallach. And he's very well known for um, all of his writing and literature, but especially his audio tape series that came out and book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. Dr. Joel Wallach has a whole list of credentials, and I'll name off a few for you so you can get a bit of an idea of his background. Um, he has written numerous books and thousands of scientific research papers. In 2011, he was awarded the Klaus Schwartz Commemorative Medal, proving the link between selenium and cystic fibrosis. He has gone to court to fight the FDA 7.5 times and one each time. His work is found in the Smithsonian Library. He's performed thousands of animal and human autopsies and discovered the direct nutritional link between deficiency and disease onset. And he travels the world over 300 days of the year and hosts a daily live-in radio show where people can ask their questions about their health issues and he will right there live on air respond to them. So Dr. Walk is a dear friend and mentor of ours, and he really has an important message that is gaining a lot of momentum on the planet right now. We absolutely need to fuel ourselves with essential nutrients. And animals know this. I have a picture here of our friend Lace. My daughter and I had a chance to become friends with a farm when we were living, doing a sabbatical outside of the city for a year. And this is our friend Lace. And she was licking on this, what looked like this block, and I wasn't actually sure what it was. But I found out after that it's a salt block, but not just salt. It was filled with other minerals as well, because the woman who ran and operated the farm knew that the animals absolutely required essential nutrition to stay healthy and strong. Not long after that, we went to visit my friend who lives out in Tavistock, near Stratford. And we, here's a picture of the dairy and beef farm that her parents run. And you can see there's also a picture of a big uh, vat of what looks like pellets, cow food. It turned out that these were actually supplements, essential nutrition for these animals. So once again, they would stay healthy and strong. So this is something that was pertinent to animals, and Dr. Wallach saw that when he was a veterinarian. And he also made the link to, if this is important for animals, it is absolutely essential for humans as well. At the end of the day, we can't correct health issues with surgery, drugs, or the four food groups. What's required is essential nutrition. Here's a picture of my grandmother, Viola. She's actually a great-grandmother now. And she's 90 years old in this picture. She's actually teaching my daughter how to knit. Um, she's knitted for over 70 years. She can knit with the, her hands tied behind her back or in her sleep. She's so, it's so natural for her. And she lived with a lot of common sense, and she still does today. She grew up in Bracebridge, and back then, before electricity, people used wood-burning stoves. And the wood, once it was used and turned into ashes, those ashes were put back into the garden. Why? Because there was minerals in them. People knew to use this resource and put it, replenish it by putting it back into the garden so the fruits and vegetables they would grow would be filled with essential nutrients, especially those minerals. So back in the day, people lived with common sense. They did this practice, the fruits and vegetables that grew were nutritionally dense, and then they would store their harvest for fall and winter in a root cellar. 
So they weren't going out buying packaged or processed or fast foods. They were really connected and living off the land. And because of this practice of putting minerals back into the soil, their food was nutritionally rich. So today, what do we do today? We're using ovens, we're using electricity. The soil is deplete. How do we get these essential nutrients? Well, it's important the quality you get and where it comes from. First of all, the essential nutrients that we use as a family and, are, and have been getting incredible results with come from a prehistoric forest. And so deep beneath the crust of the ground, beneath the crust of the earth, there is a humic shale. And these minerals and nutrients are harvested from this humic shale. So this is called plant-derived nutrition. Plant-derived is so much more effective than chelated or metallic minerals because they're very, very small colloidal particles. And because they're plant-based, they're highly absorbable. In fact, that is one of the key factors in making sure you're getting proper nutrition, is the bioavailability, the ability for your body to absorb it and use it. So, we've got a slide here showing the difference between some raisins and some grapes. If you are not getting essential nutrients, your body will start to age prematurely and break down. And you will shrivel up and look like a dried old raisin. But with the proper hydration and nutrition, your body has the ability to stay ripe and fresh and healthy and youthful for a much longer period of time. On top of this, this isn't just a physical matter. This relates again to your mental health and your emotional health. Many people are going around with a hungry brain and they need to feed it as well so they can focus and concentrate and have a, have a keen memory and mental clarity and positive attitude. So the option is yours. You can give your body and mind what it needs to thrive in today's world. And it's simple, easy, and natural. In fact, for every 100 pounds, you just take an ounce of minerals and you can put that in your juice, in your smoothie, or you can take it straight up. You can get it in plain flavor or cherry flavor and your system will immediately put it to use. Why we put the focus on minerals is because minerals are 60 of the 90 essential nutrients that your body requires. So it's not limited to minerals, but by starting with minerals, you are getting two thirds of your body requirements and nothing else works in the physical body or the or your mental cognition without mineral, minerals as a base or mineral cofactors. And the entire program then works together as a team, just like a symphony would be playing in an orchestra. All the instruments have their individual roles and then they play together to um, make the end product or result. Dr. Wallach's products are also gaining a lot of credibility in the world of research. And Clemson University did a study not long ago, and they've proven that his products are in fact anti-inflammatory, non-toxic, and reduce cancer cells. Other universities are now getting on board. Here in Canada, McMaster University is doing research on the products, and so is the University of Manitoba. This is common sense, uncommonly practiced. Our body needs essential nutrients and getting the right quality one is key to your success. In the words of Linus Pauling, who's a two-time Nobel Prize winner, you can trace every sickness, ailment and disease to a mineral deficiency. So the bottom line is this, you can't run on empty. Your body and brain require these essential nutrients to repair, maintain, and to thrive in all areas of life. So make sure that you fuel up and give it what it needs so that you can really take off. <laughs>